Chris Wacking is uh, Elaine EO packs on a fins of sport poking on for spoken bone to be determined by all of Nolan. Like the link to the video will be the description below. Go and check them out. So let's do this vaccine. Three, two, one. Hey. Hi, Dad. Hey, buddy. We got the news. What? I broke my arm. Ho, ho, ho! Guys, we are checking out today. Guys, we have had a blast here at the Grand America. Just honestly, what a magical time of year to celebrate Thanksgiving, welcome in the Christmas season. Lindsay and Mindy <laughs> have decked us out in some really cool outfits. The outfits do not stop. They continue on today. In fact, check this out. Are you ready for this? Turn, I feel like you've uh, been really uh, bad this year. Ah, uh, what about you, Ash? You've been, you've been pretty naughty, I think. Ta-da! What about you, Lando? I think I've been pretty good. Actually, he's saying he's been pretty good, so don't bug his. What about you, Dad? Well, yeah. I feel like I've been actually really good this year. So good. I'm going to keep it. Actually, no, I've been like half good, I feel like. There we go. I've been like half good. Ava, have you been naughty or nice this year? Nice. That's what it says. But, I mean, maybe you've been just a little bit naughty. Yeah. Just a little bit, maybe. Yeah. No, you've been nice. We'll switch it back. So guys, we are off to breakfast <laughs> with This Is How We Bing them this morning. We're going go to go to a place that I've been dying to go to called Sweet Biscuits and Limeade. It looks like it has some delicious breakfast food along with some delicious limeades. And then we're going to head back home. We're checking out today. So it is Black Friday. Turn has been begging to do some Black Friday deals. And, you know, we're not big in-store shoppers. We really like the online convenience of shopping. And so we might look for some yeah. Black Friday deals that are floating around there on the internet that could help with some Christmas ideas that uh, some of the kids have mentioned. So we're going to spend the day doing that. I want to go on Nintendo Switch. Nintendo I Switch? Okay. And then I want um, that, um, that Princess Jeep. The Princess Jeep. Okay, we'll see if we can find that on Black Friday. A pro scooter or a minky maybe? A pro scooter or a minky? Okay, I bet you they're having Black Friday deals there. I do know what Lindsay wants, and I can't tell you because she'll see the video, but I'm gonna see if I can't find her on Black Friday today. If Land is ever missing, he's either on an elevator <laughs> or he's outside of the door playing with the door keys. You guys, here are the keys, right? They're like a key card, but an actual physical key. And watch Lana show it off here real quick. Yeah, you gotta pull it out. There you go. Done so. So guys, here's what a two-day trip looks like as far as packing goes. You just never know what you're gonna need, right? Yeah. Winter clothes over here, those are our coats. However, the one bag that is missing, the biggest bag of them all, but arguably the most important bag of them all, is one bag is like three times the size of everyone else's. <laughs> an elevator <laughs> full of Binghams and Elves. All stuff packed up. Sad that we're leaving. File out, Binghams. Look at these naughty or nice elves. So, Brandon, uh, what was the verdict on you? Hey, wait, you did half and half like. I'm half broski, so I'm nighty. <laughs> I'm out. Let it be known, I'm everyone, that Brandon I'm actually stole my idea because I did that earlier. <laughs> really? Looks like you're just straight naughty. <laughs> have both of you been nice? According to these shirts, you have been. One's naughty and one's nice, I think. There you go, Hazy. You switch. You Do you think everyone enjoyed their meals here? It is. I dare say so. Oh, so good. All right, you guys, we are home safe. A blizzard of a storm has come to grace itself upon our home here in yep. Utah. So let's take a guess right now, guys. How many inches of snow are outside? I don't know. Uh, I think it's probably like six. Okay, Lana says six inches. Ashy? Three inches. Three inches. Okay, Turn, what are you guessing? Seven. Turn guesses seven inches. Okay, I'm gonna actually go with Ash and I'm gonna go 
just under three inches. But guys, we have a ton of snow, and so what do you do when it snows like this? You go build a snowman. Do you wanna build a snowman? You go shovel, you go play in the snow, you go have a snowball fight. So come join us for the very first official, in my opinion, snowfall. We've had, you know, snow dr drizzles and things like that, some flurries. But guys, this is sticking to the ground. It is official. Winter is here. Christmas is coming. We are going to go outside and enjoy snow. All right, here we go, guys. Official measurement. What'd you guess, Ashy? I can't see it. Right there. Official measurement is... Just under three inches. Oh my God. We've gotten under three inches of snow just today. And it's only like two o'clock in the afternoon and it's still snowing. So there's a good chance guys we'll end up with, I'd say probably five inches by the end of the night, which is incredible, which means ski season is around the corner. And Lindsay is truly mocking me literally <laughs> right behind <laughs> the camera. Like if you could see her, She's like right around the side making fun of me. I don't know what talking about. Check this out. Look at this snow. Man, I love this snow. <laughs> Let's get this party started. How are we doing, twins? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Who? <gasps> what? I got a new helper. Hello, Ava. Do you want to try that? Okay, grab that one right over there. There you go, girl. Now I've got three amazing helpers. <laughs> now guys, obviously, given where we live, I could easily justify a snowblower. But the truth is, I don't want one. I don't want one because I didn't grow up with one. And I loved those times where I could shovel the walks and the driveway with my dad. And honestly, I love seeing my kids out here helping me do it. It's a blast. It's fun. We get to play in the snow. We get to have fun little memories of snowstorms and coming out and shoveling the walks. So it's clear for the cars to get out and clear for the people to come visit us. So for me, it's kind of a bonding experience. I think the kids really like it too. So I tried to carry that tradition on a little bit where we're just kind of a no snowblower family. Why have a snowblower when I got technically four of them, right? Turin, Ashton, Landon, Ava. All right, you guys. A little friendly snowball mm, fight yeah. we've been challenged to. Teams will be against Ashton and Landon. The dynamic duo. Are you ready for this? We should be. We are Team Unicorn against the Dynamic Duo. Yes. Let's do it. A neighbor over here. <laughs> Boom! Lana, what are you laughing at? You're about to hit the snowball, boy. Boom! <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Justin has been having a great time playing in this beautiful snowstorm with the kids, yep. and I have been unpacking and trying to get laundry done and get our house in order a little bit because we've got a busy week ahead of us. And Turin ran over to a friend's house and came home just a few minutes later in a lot of pain. And we're a little bit worried that he may have broken his arm. We're hoping it's just a oh, sprain or a strain, but I've never seen him in this much pain before. So I'm a little bit worried. I don't want him to have a broken bone. That's no fun. So we have driven him over to the Instacare to find out what's going on. He was playing with some friends and a ball got thrown, a heavy ball. And I guess it was a 10 pound weight ball. And yeah. his arm was on the couch and it was bent, you know, at his elbow like this and the ball hit him here and just, I don't even know. I don't even totally understand it, but he's in a ton of pain. Oh. Well, I just kind of waited out a little bit. There's not a lot of swelling. There's actually no swelling at all, which Justin's hesitant to think that it's broken, but he's just in so much pain and yes. I just want to know what's going on. So, so we're here at the Instacare with cute Turbo going to see what's going on. Mm. 
At least she's squeezing your good arm. <laughs> All right, Turbo, show him which arm it is. It hurts so bad he's having a hard time holding it up. It's on there. Okay. And did you take any ibuprofen or anything? Mm -mm, not yet. Okay, the doctor just came in, checked out his arm. We're gonna get some x-rays and just see if there's any sort of a fracture in there. He said that it actually can be broken even if it doesn't swell, because he doesn't have any swelling. The pain just hasn't gotten any better. He can't hold his arm up, so we're gonna see yes. what's going on in there, crossing our fingers. Okay, the good news here is that it's not Turn's dominant arm, so he can still do all of his homework, <laughs> but he can barely hold it up. Totally is hurting him. Show him where. Right here. And the pain's not getting any better, huh? Mm -mm. Off the bat, that there is a fracture right in through here. Wow. Okay, wow. It's very subtle. It's kind of like a hairline fracture. So you can see it. Right oh, oh, I don't think so. Wow. Okay. Right so there. it's not a growth plate injury, nothing like that. So most likely you would just have to do a cast for maybe about four to six weeks. Um, so can he not play soccer? Probably not. No. Really? Yeah. For four to six weeks? Probably, yeah, probably around a month or so. As long as the cast is on or just... Um... Well, you know, soccer is a little bit different. That's going to be a coach's call. And it's also going to be up to the sports medicine doctor that actually puts the cast on. Yeah, we just do a temporary splint here. Except at DPL, he just finished a regional soccer competition. So at least he didn't hurt it before that. Yeah, yeah that's good. So this is a pretty minimal fracture in it's general? It's very slight. It's non-surgical, it's just gonna fill in over time and heal up, and it's not a growth plate injury either. So guys, they're gonna come in and put the splint on and then give you the sports medicine referral. Hey. Hi, Dad. Hey, buddy. We got the news. What? I broke my arm. Are you serious? Yep. Oh, Sean, I'm so sorry. It's fine. Oh, buddy, I love you, I'm so sorry, man. So they're putting a splint on me now and then Next week, I have to get uh, a real cast on. Oh, uh, for how long? Four to six weeks. Oh, buddy. Well, it looks like you'll be wearing a cast maybe for Christmas, huh? Maybe. Okay, yeah, we'll call you back. Hold on. All right. Okay, love you. Love you too, I honestly had no idea it was really going to be broken. I'm totally shocked. Yeah. The question is, what color cast are you going to choose? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever colors they have. What are you thinking? Blue, pink. Ooh, I like that. Blue, Maybe pink. The first one to sign it. <laughs> I'm your mom. Deal. I did give birth to you. <laughs> Ooh, he doesn't know if he wants anyone to sign it. I'd rather have it be clean. Yeah, I kind of think I can see that. Maybe what you do is have everybody sign it the last day, right before they cut it off. Yeah, Your soccer it. team's gonna be sad. Hopefully, there's no BPL soon. It's not for a long time. It's true. It's it's actually the very best time that someone could be out for it's soccer. Like right after BPL. Nothing well, matters after all. this, honestly. Yeah. It's futsal. They don't have outdoor until March again, so it's like the perfect time. So I can take it off temporarily to make sure there's no sores. Right. Okay, got it. And to shower, right? Nope. You have to just put his arm in a bag and or bag. Oh, Oops. so just tie a plastic bag around it. Yeah. Ava, what'd you just say? You said, oh. why do you only have one arm? <laughs> That's what you just asked him. <laughs> Give him hugs. Oh, he... Guys, Turin is an extreme athlete here. And so for him to have a broken arm was a bit of a setback for sure, especially with the snow just falling and sledding. But you know what? This kid... Ski and skiing. He loves to ski. We were talking on the way home and he was just feeling kind of bummed. I just was telling him, I know it's such a bummer. I seriously feel so bad. But I just said, that's life. We're just gonna have to make the best of it and put on the happy attitude. Mother's intuition here. She came to me and said, hey, I think I should take him to urgent care. And I said, no, turns tough. There's no need to take him to urgent care. You know, I did my doctor <laughs> exam on him. Felt like uh, my doctor opinion was that uh, he was fine. So an hour or so passed, and then I uh, kind of went back and checked his arm again. It wasn't swollen. It had no, no indication swelling. of swelling mm -mm. or red marks or anything. So I kind of just pinched on those two bones, you know, probably six inches above his wrist, and he just, he's kind of winced in pain. So he I said, did. ah, well, might be wise to probably just send him in. And so lo and behold, Lindsay was right. Well, it's funny because, you know, my gut just kept telling me that turn, you know, he gets hurt here or there. He's very active kid. So he collides with other kids in sports, at recess, outside, and he'll be in pain and then it will go away. And this pain was just not going away and it seemed kind of intense. And so my gut just said, this is different. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not really a super bad break, which means he'll heal quickly. He doesn't have to have surgery. So considering yes. all bone breaks, it's not a bad one and it will heal quickly. And there could not be a more perfect time of year to miss soccer because it's 
it's just indoor. He's already played three futsal games and I think he only would have played one more before Christmas. So he'll miss yeah. some indoor practices and he'll miss one indoor game and that's it. So obviously, you know, I just feel bad overall. I'll miss some RSL games too. He will miss some RSL games, but overall I think it's a good time of year. It's never a great time to break your arm though and I'm so sorry. It's no fun when you have a hard time opening your own car door and you can't hold anything and I mean, thankfully it's not your right arm, but yeah, we're gonna make the best of it. All right, Ashley and Landon just got home from Uncle Sean's. They are shocked. They had no idea that Turbo Big Brother has a broken arm. What do you guys think? Uh, I did not see that coming at all. The entire time, like, I thought it didn't look small at all. I know, so we thought he was fine. You guys, he has to get a cast. Like an actual cast? Believe that? He has to get a cast. What color yeah. do you think you should get? Uh, turquoise. Turquoise. All right, you guys. Hey, coming on here just to close out. Wow, what a uh, what a day. Not what we were expecting. At yeah. All. Not at all. Especially with the surprise we have dropping tomorrow morning. We had a um, lot to do in a short amount of time. I was coming home to unpack, and do laundry, and pack up the house, and just yeah. get it all done. Maybe do a little Black Friday shopping, and we spent a little while taking care of that sweet little boy. And he is a little bit bummed. He's a little down, and he's still in pain. We got him some ibuprofen. I think he's feeling a little bit better. I'm hoping he sleeps tonight. I don't think he's very comfortable. Anyway, guys, all right, we're gonna hit the hay. Come back tomorrow for an awesome surprise. The kids are gonna be so excited. A morning surprise. If you have not, subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. We are uploading daily videos. Check out Lindsay's Instagram, Our Life in Holland, as well as her blog uh, for some great content that you will find here on YouTube. Have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Wow, that was wow. That was eating your bags on a fence us for spoken on for spoken phone to totally board timing by all love and only. The link to to the video will be the description below. Go and check my so that so drop a like if you like. And come down below if you want to see more we can like this one. And subscribe if you want to include the post if you know the formula below in the mud. Bye.